Nigeria is mourning. The Monday night train attack in Kaduna has led to the untimely death of eight persons with scores of others kidnapped as Nigerians continue to grapple with the reality of the train and airport attacks. Shehu Balarabi from Kaduna State rises on a matter of urgent public importance to lament that his people are being annihilated. He says no fewer than 200 people were killed in Brininguari in two days. By the number of times the Air Force aircraft fighter will come, but I want to assure this house it will flew left, right, and center as if we are, we are, we are celebrating Nigerian independence. But nothing ever dropped to attack those bandits. The motion throws the house into disquiet and emotions laced with anger and frustration are freely expressed. Nigerians at this moment should be allowed to also take arms. Nigerians must be allowed to take arms in defense of their innocent souls, depend their hard-earned resources and property. Because it's like a monumental failure. It was a no host bad debate as members put out their frustrations. The they say the billions of Naira allotted the Nigerian and I mean army and other security I'll agencies in the going. last three years have not I'll paid going. off. No part of Nigeria is safe. And um, when such issues come like this, that has to do with the lives of people, you will agree with me, just like um, on Monday, the attack on that train, the perpetrators of that act were not looking at any, any particular person from any part of the country. Because anybody could have been in that trade. You... It's another successful day for men of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Borno Command. They have been on a consistent patrol in their onslaught against criminality in the state. Now this has yielded positive results with the arrest of seven persons. They are suspected to be engaged in various criminal activities ranging from theft and vandalism. The State Commandant NSCDC Musa Farouk is here to say more about the success. Some black marketers were cited with several cakes of petroleum products, particularly PMS. We arrested one Sunday Ali, a male, a driver to a golf saloon car with which they conveyed several railway assets for instance irons 60 pieces of railway irons seven pieces of railway slippers this act you all agree with me offends the spirit of nigerian economy and uh, this matter will be treated accordingly within the framework of justice it's an act of economic sabotage which offends the spirit of our economy we will not tolerate the continuous vandalism of our governmental assets. I want to revamp, want to rejig, want to ensure electricity restored. The adjourned state on Monday, State Council O.R. Salau initially told the courts that she wasn't aware of the status of the case and later added that the legal advice wasn't ready. In his response, the defense counsel faulted the government's position, describing it as grossly inadequate, as no reason was given for the delay nor a time frame stated to release the advice. Because we are talking of the rights of the people detained and then that the government itself is now making nonsense of both the investigative effort of the police and the judicial order, they have abused the judicial order. This person was not kept just for him to be enjoying in Ekoyi. It's not a five star hotel, it's for a purpose. So you can't come and so without saying no, use your power under subsection 6 of the section 264 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Law, Lagos State, which empowers you where no good cause has been shown after 30 days to set the person free. According to the police, through its prosecutor, Moro Fani Marshall, Kule Poli and Adekombi Wahab were found to be behind the bloody clashes in the Idumota area of the state in January. Though their pleas haven't been taken, they're accused of committing murder and belonging to an unlawful society. The alleged offenses contravene Section 233 of the Criminal Laws and Section 3 of the state's anti-cultism laws of 2021.